guys welcome back to another episode of medieval dynasty so today i wanted to work on this fence finally and get that all sorted out now uh the last time i checked i don't know if we have a hammer on us uh if we do it's probably not equipped uh doesn't look like we have a hammer um basically what i wanted to do uh last episode was update some of the fences and stuff like that so uh we'll go ahead i don't even have a hammer in here um, and work on that farm one first, and then we can move over to, uh, some other things. Now, I'm not sure if the... Yeah, that's not ready yet. Okay, what else we got? We got... We should have some hammers in here. Uh, let's see here. We'll grab that one. Probably go through a couple of these today. So there was this farm here that I wanted to basically update. So if we go to the destroy mode, you can see how far away the thing is, the fence, from... Like, this side is okay, but it gets a little bit crooked around here. And then it's, like, all crooked up in this part. So I want to basically make it so it's more straight um, around the farmland itself. So it's going to take a little bit of upgrading, and we probably have to upgrade this fence line right here as well. So there's a few things that we have to do today. I'm going to start breaking these, and then we can upgrade some of the uh, fences. You know, we'll probably get rid of this one as well, just so it's out of the way, and we can put a new one down. Okay, so this one definitely needs to be upgraded. And then we need a, a fence gate as well, so we'll put one of those in while we're at it. Okay, so like that. We should have quite a few sticks. We'll probably have to collect more, though. So that should be good. Um, we'll go ahead and start putting down uh, the fence. We can go to here. I like how you can actually build the fence in the destroy mode because it allows you to highlight the um, the actual farmland and stuff. So we're gonna leave just a little bit of room, not a whole lot. Just enough to place the fence down. Uh, yeah, that looks about good. So we'll go around the fence line. Actually, you know what? We should probably build the uh, fence gate first. Or at least place it down. Uh
All right, we're probably going to need more sticks. I might have underestimated how many sticks we needed. <laughs> I got uh, that whole line done, though, and up to there, and just about finished this one, but we'll... We've already gone through about 100 sticks. We might have enough, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll keep hammering. Our hammer's just about done, but uh, I have another hammer, I think, so... We should be able to finish this fence, at least. And yeah, I, I like how it's a lot more cleaner now uh, along the edges and stuff. Uh, there's a little bit of grass here. That's that's okay though. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just need. Uh, he's just like walking in the water. He's like da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Usually they don't walk in the water unless they're fisher uh, fishermen. Uh, but I think he's just a regular gatherer, actually, so. Alright, so, yeah, we should probably have enough uh, to finish this fence. And then we need to start chopping down some trees for the other fence. And actually, you know what? We could probably destroy the old fence up on the hill and use those resources down here. Uh, we'll probably be a while until we can uh, get... The um the barn set up for the um donkeys and horses and stuff. So I think that would probably be the best thing to do is just go harvest those resources and we'll put the sticks away and we'll see if we can't get um some planks made up. So we can put actually some of this we can actually all Put away as well, like the uh, the flowers and stuff. We don't really need those on us. Uh, da, 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 da. The knife, kind of don't need, but we do need to eat pretty soon. Probably cook up some food before I go up there. So we can put that away. Put these away. We've got 41 of those. That's really good. We go through a lot of that, so... Uh, though we don't have a lot of thistle, unfortunately. But we have just enough for the red and yellow, so... About 80. And coins. We still have some coins on us. We might as well put those in the uh, bin here. And we can put our bronze arrows in here. We don't need those at the moment. Okay, that should be good. Uh
right, so it's turning night. Uh, we have winter coming up next, but I wanted to place down uh, some, like a little garden right here. I, I put in the fence and then I'm like, okay, uh, that looks good, but uh, there was a little bit of a gap right here. So I decided to just kind of outline it with the, the rocks and we had some extra rocks and then I put some plants down and I used some of the thistle this time with some of the white. I thought that would look pretty good. Um, over on this side we have quite a bit of space. I'm not sure what to do with that just yet. I'm sure I'll figure out something to put there but um, as far as like other stuff that we can do um, in this area I'm not sure if there is something like when this tree finally grows I wouldn't mind like outlining the tree with some rocks and stuff like that just to kind of decorate it but I don't want to interfere with its growth cycle either so I haven't done anything with it just yet but we'll experiment with it a little bit after it's fully grown and stuff and as far as everything else uh, this uh, the table might, might need to be moved and stuff I need to make sure that I take out some of the uh, food stuff uh, so it doesn't take any, like, doesn't spoil. So we'll do that really quickly. Uh, I know the mushrooms will spoil and stuff if we don't take them out. And giving that this last day, that's probably best to do that. Got quite a bit of meat. Cabbage. Actually, we should probably make up some food for them. I just realized they're all out. Uh, let's see, we'll drop those. And we'll drop probably about the, that amount. We'll leave 96 in our inventory. We have 14 planks. Um, cabbage. I don't know if we'll be able to move with that. We'll try to move. Yeah, we should be able to move. Okay. I just want to make sure that they have food um, when winter sets in. So we'll go grab some bowls and we'll craft up some food for them and then by then it'll probably be night so all right so let's go ahead there's some buckets in here that need refilling uh we got eight shoes that's pretty good uh we'll grab those bowls and we'll probably grab a few more just actually no we'll, we'll keep the uh 200 in there we'll probably sell those next season because by the time i get the food and stuff done it'll probably be too far in tonight where I won't be able to find a merchant okay so I want this one and
All right. So I got a couple, um, couple thousand coins, almost three hundred or three thousand coins, almost. Uh, but uh, we, I noticed when we're in the management tab that there was a couple people that are pregnant. So they're gonna have, I don't know, a few seasons. I think one or two seasons until they give birth and then they're basically not going to um, be able to um, do their profession for a while so I think it's like two years or something like that until their kid can basically wander around so basically this profession here I forget what they work on I think it's buckets and bulls so that profession is not going to be able to be making anything and same with the um, wood cutting station so these two are going to be out of the question um, as far as substitutes I think we'll be able to handle both of those just fine um, I don't think there's too much that we need to do in either of these to make that a thing uh, the only thing that I need to worry about is oh yeah I forgot to um, up update this uh, but yeah the only thing I need to worry about is the resources of actually harvesting and stuff like that so uh, for the barn we have some production that we needed to set up though I'm gonna do this really quickly and then uh, we'll set it to about 50% I think Yeah, so we'll, we'll get 33 fertilizer a day, so that should be good. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.